Hi Diane, we've been having a little conversation on Ravelry about my Anything But Lazy Kate by Nancy's Knit Knacks and how it works and so I thought I'd just make a little video just to uh, show you what I've been doing with it. You've just seen how to how to set it up. I've oiled mine using worktop oil that you can get from B&Q uh, that you just use to treat your kitchen worktops with. So I did that as soon as it came. There are three ways of tensioning your bobbins using this Kate. And when I start applying project, I usually just add one sort of method at a time until I get just enough tension that everything doesn't corkscrew back on itself. So the first thing to apply tension is to actually put this angle on your bobbins so that gravity is helping you along and there's a little bit of weight on the bobbin. You know, it's not just rolling around freely. It's actually um, a little bit weighted there. The next thing that I do is I'll move these little pigtails. Um, you can either feed all three of your threads through one of these pigtails or you can give them a pigtail each and I like to um, I know some people just feed them through one so that they're all going through say the middle one here whoops I can't find the end of this now so you might have all three ends feeding through like that and then they just get twist added into them as you're plying. Um, I actually like to have them all come out separately so I can see what's happening with all three singles. I had one that I hadn't spun very well recently and one particular sing single kept breaking because it was just too loose and weak uh, and I sort of the first time I did it I kind of realized that suddenly I had a two ply instead of a three ply so I like to put them through their own separate pigtails so that I can watch them come onto the wheel but that's just my personal preference okay so I have them coming through like this it's really easy to thread up with one hand this thing so I've lost that end again Oh, where's it gone? There we go. Right, so the second way of adding tension then is to actually turn these pigtails around so that your yarn, your single, actually makes a zigzag as it comes off the bobbin. So it's coming out here, through there as kind of a dog leg, and then out towards you. And that actually, that angle adds quite a little, quite a bit of tension onto the bobbin. Um, and can be enough. Usually I find most of the time that's enough just to make sure that I don't end up with twist backs on the single. But if you do have a particularly twisty single, then you can use the third method of tensioning that kind of comes with this Kate. And that's this piece of string. Whoops! That's this piece of string. And you can actually put it round the bobbins. I've actually managed to do this with one hand as well, even though I look rather inept right now. So you can put it around all, however many bobbins you've got on here. Maximum of three, obviously. And then just tight, put a bit of extra tension on that way. Um, but I think I've only used that about once because, as I say, it's kind of like the last tensioning method I use. And usually between those three, I can get enough tension on there that I don't have any problems with the bobbin spinning back or getting little pigtails or anything. So I'm going to try and make a video of this in, in motion. 
I'll see how I get on with that. But I hope that sort of answered some of your questions as to how useful it was going to be for you and how you'd get on with it. Cheerio.